Hey guys, today I want to walk you through how you can add a Mapbox map to your website or to your application. Mapbox is one of my favorite new web mapping softwares out there, and if you haven't checked it out, it's really, really cool. It's really easy to implement, and if you are looking for a way to put a map on your website, this is one of the easiest and fastest ways to do it. So the first thing you'll need is a Mapbox account. Just log in with your email address, create an account if you don't have one, and then once you have that, you'll be able to access the keys and the code that you need in order to put this map onto a live site. The next thing you'll need is an editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code because I'm actually using GitHub for this project. I'm also using a template from html5up.net. This is a free template for educational purposes. There's a whole lot of really great responsive templates. If you're working with something more complex, say Squarespace or WordPress, they might have their own parameters, but it's going to be similar to this process. If you want to know how to put this project on GitHub with this web page like I have, check the link in the description for another video that shows exactly how to do that. So right out of the box, we have a lot of really great code and a lot of really great comments here already, so we can see what the documentation says and it can really help us to organize our web page. So what these are, this is the sidebar, and I've done a little editing already. This is the main area, this is your intro, section one. There was a section two, but I deleted it, and three, and then a footer with the contact information and all that kind of stuff. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be working within the section. So if you see this section tab right here, then there's an additional section tab. So this is the section tab for the entire section one, and then this is within section one, an additional section. And so we have the one side, which is actual map portion and so it's located within this and then we have this script tag right here that we're actually putting our map box code inside now the first part of this is if you look at the top we've actually added to the head portion of the HTML file we have added these two lines of code this is going to be the script JavaScript that we need this is going to be the JavaScript reference that we're going to need, and it's loading from the Mapbox API. So this is pivotal that you have in the header of wherever you're working, because then we're going to call commands from this in our script, and we have to make sure that it's calling it somewhere. And since we aren't hard coding it in, we are calling it from this API. Additionally, we're calling this for CSS and for our styles. So whenever we call in this style right here, since we're not loading it in as a static file over here, we're simply calling it from a API as well. Now that we've got that in our header, we then come down here to the section where we want to add this. And we have here, which is basically setting up the frame where our map is going to live. Now this is specific to the template that we're using, the free website template. So in your position, this section might look a little, I have this set up for width 100%, 100%, so it basically looks good on all things. You can pull this up on devices, you can move it, you can scale it, it looks fine. Then what you're gonna come do is you're gonna have these script tags in here you're gonna have your access token. Now this is your public access token. This is mine, it's unique. I'm probably gonna change it after this. I usually change it every once in a while just so it's different and so my projects don't get burned out, especially with old stuff. Then you're gonna to need to find yours and paste yours into that section, the map variable itself. So if you don't have this, you're basically gonna create a new map variable. You're gonna call it and then you're going to give that map different attributes. And so what we've done is we've specifically given it this container which is map which is up here so that's helping in this communicate with this it would look different for you but this basically is telling mapbox how this map is going to fit your call you're saying okay when you run this script it's going to be contained within inside this frame 
then what you have is you have the style. Now, if you want to change the style of your map, this is where you would change that. You can look up the documentation for that. Additionally, I have centered our map. This is just a little bit of extra. I've centered our map around Austin, Texas because Austin's amazing. And then I've also given it a zoom of 10. So when we load the map, then it actually zooms to that area of Austin, Texas, but you can do anything. And there's so many different options. This is just barely scratching the surface of what we're trying to do today. But once you've got this taken care of, once you've got this loaded in, again, this portion up here takes a little more customization in order to get it to fit with inside this template. But this portion in here is actually really, really simple and pretty easy to get going. Um, I've gone and customized a few more of these things and here's your map. So this is the little Austin area that we zoomed into. Uh, we can add a little button here. And again, all this other stuff is coded in for us and it makes it look really nice and professional. But then what you can do is once you get more advanced, you can add data to this. You can add polygons if you want. That's it. I hope you've been able to deploy this web map quickly on your website or your application, whatever you're working on. I hope this has been helpful. If you're looking for ways to customize this map, you can check out Mapbox resources. I'm going to put a link to their stuff in the description so you can find it and so you can go and start customizing. I'm making another video to showcase some more features and look for that probably in the next week or two. Cool. How much do blogs cost? Additionally, there is now a blog. So if you want to keep up with me between YouTube videos, if you still want to get the latest news, software, you can subscribe. It's free. You get a once a week newsletter that's just a recap of whatever has gone up on the blog, plus some additional resources and news and events in the GIS world. Thank you so much for supporting these videos. If you haven't yet, I would encourage you to click subscribe, like this video, and interact in the comments. Let me know if you've used Mapbox to put a map on your website. And if you have, have you found it easy or is perhaps there a better solution out there? I'd love to hear your thoughts.